Hey guys, Ivan here, so 10 weeks out of Mr. Olympia 2023, we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates, possibly of future Mr. Olympias like Samson Dauda and Nick Walker, and also we get to take a look at the 212 and Classic Physique Masters Olympia winners. So we're gonna start with Samson Dauda, as you can see, and this is him at 10 weeks out. Now, looking at his physique and looking at the rate that Samson has been improving for the past couple of years, for the past couple of shows, really, he's not only really making improvements from year to year, he's making improvements from show to show and he's competing multiple times a year. So considering all that and considering this physique update right here, the way he's looking like in this photo, I honestly believe that Samson has a really good chance of winning, of becoming the next Mr. Olympia. Now, I could see him being second, I could see him being in top three, but lower than that, I mean, can this physique be worse than top three in the world? I mean, I know who he's competing against, I know that Hadi is still at his A game, I know Derek is up and coming, I know Nick is gonna bring something insane. I know Brandon Curry is not done yet, but I mean, I'm just looking at this photo right here and I just can't see this guy being out of top 3. And I think it's very, very likely that he's going to win the Mr. Olympia. Now, you never know, of course, who knows what he's going to look like, how well will he peak, how much will Derek be improved, what kind of monsterish, freaky, full look is Nick Walker going to bring. And I also don't know if Hardy is gonna bring something new, something crazy, something better, or he's gonna come in worse. I mean, we haven't really seen any physique updates of Hardy, like proper physique updates, but I think he's gonna be good. I think he's gonna be very, very good. So it's gonna be extremely competitive in that top four, or let's say top five, if you include uh, Brandon Curry, maybe even top six, if you consider Andrew Jacked. But I don't think that guy can really win the Mr. Olympia this year. But all the other guys from top five can. And especially Samson Dauda. I mean, look at this guy. Look at how freaky he is looking. I'm pretty sure he's bigger now than the last time we saw him. I mean, you can't really tell based on these photos uh, until you see him compared to the other guys. But I think in his most recent photos and updates, you kind of, it kind of seems like his head is smaller compared to the, to the rest of his body, especially his arms. I think his arms grew like crazy. And I don't know if he had this kind of chest separation before. I think his chest is thicker. And he always had great legs, but I think they are even thicker now. So all that combined with perfect structure, great shape, beautiful muscle bellies, uh, crazy proportions, crazy symmetry. Uh, and like if his back is improved and his glutes are shredded, how can anybody stop this guy? I think we can all agree that if his glutes are shredded and if his back is improved, Nobody's gonna stop him. He's going to be our next Mr. Olympia winner and he's going to reign for a long time. He's going to be like the next Ronnie Coleman. But we don't know if his back is that improved or if his glutes are gonna be shredded. But even if that doesn't happen, he's still very, very good. He still managed to win the Iron Classic. He is coming very strong to this show, to the Mr. Olympia, and I think he's going to be better. I think he's going to be improved. And the way he's looking right now, 10 weeks out, yeah, this is very promising. I believe Samson has a really good shot at becoming the next Mr. Olympia. Probably the most important thing he needs to improve is conditioning. And I don't know what's his stack right now, but I know what I used when I was preparing for my show. I used Lava 196 from the old school labs. Now, I know a lot of people are skeptical when it comes to natural fat burners. And you can see the ingredients of this, this what it is, but I used a couple of capsules before I did my cardio and I'm sure it helped. I'm sure it improved the fat burning process. So if you guys want to try it, there is the link down below. You can click on the link and just use the code EVAN, which will grant you 15% discount. And that's also the way how you can support this channel. So check it out down in the link, try it. And if you don't like it, you can also get your money back. But I'm sure you're gonna love it. It's a great thing. It's definitely a big, big help if you're trying to get lean. All right, next we got a physique update also 10 weeks out of Nick Walker. But Nick didn't post one photo of his best shot under the best lighting possible with a great pump, with like the best angle possible. No, no, Nick's photos, Nick's updates are more transparent. 
And I think he took these photos to send them to his coach, Matt Jansen. I think he basically said this when he sends his uh, weekly check-ins to his coach. Often he posts them on his social media, on his Instagram. So this is him right now, and you can see exactly what is happening with his physique. So let's analyze it. Now, the first photo, the first pose, the front relaxed. I gotta say his waist looks smaller every time he posts a physique update. He did seem like he ruined his midsection in his offseason. I thought it could be like unfixable, but now that he's dieting for a while, I think he's, his waist shrunk again. And uh, it's getting better. Like there is 10 more weeks to go, so his waist is probably gonna get even smaller. And like the way his, uh, his shoulders are popping, the way his chest is also improved, the size of those arms and lats, and I think the legs are better, a little bit better also. All that creates an illusion of uh, him having a smaller waist. Now, on stage, he is not gonna look like this, because this was taken from a little bit higher angle. When he's on stage, he's gonna be seen from a slightly lower angle, so his waist is probably gonna look a little bit thicker on the stage. But once he is completely shredded, once he peaks, once he has the collar on and the pump and everything, everything else is gonna be more impressive, so it's all gonna flow well. And for Nick, like, his weakest point is his waist, also his legs, but mainly his waist. So if everything else is spot on and the waist is a little bit bad, but it's still controllable, it's still not completely ruined, it's good. He can do very well. And by very well, I'm thinking top three at the Mr. Olympia or potentially even winning the whole thing. Now here in most muscular, yeah, he looks crazy in this one. I mean, his arms are his trademark and they're looking crazy, but that's something we all know. We all know he has massive arms, great arms. What I'm seeing here, and I'm guessing, I'm assuming that he trained uh, his chest and his shoulders in this, in this training session here before he took these photos, because look at his shoulders and his chest. Like, I don't think this was this big, this round and this full before. Maybe he made great improvements, maybe this is like faster or something like that, but I think he, I think he has a pump. I think his chest is pumped because it looks thicker than ever, really. And also his delts are looking rounder than ever, so... I hope that it's not only a pump, I hope his, uh, his chest and his shoulders actually made progress because he's definitely looking much thicker in that region. He also posted his rear lat spread and I think he looks better in this shot as well. I think he learned how to do this pose properly, I mean in a better way. The last time I saw him on stage it was Arnold Classic and he wasn't really able to open up properly at that show doing this pose back uh, lat spread. So I think he'll learn how to do it better, I think it flows much better now. I hope it's going to stay like this, I hope he's not gonna go back to his old way of hitting it, because it wasn't very good, and now it's actually looking very very good. His back double is amazing on stage, but his lat spread from behind was never really good, and uh, I don't see why, he has a good back, he has crazy hamstrings and crazy glutes, and like he's always shredded, uh, he wasn't able to open up properly to do that pose the way he needs to do it, and I think he figured it out, finally, I think now it looks good. And you can also pay attention to his lower body from behind, and you can see the body fat percent of Nick Walker at 10 weeks out, but I don't think that's something we need to pay attention to, really, because he's always shredded, he's always spot on, there is no worrying about that. He's for sure going to be in condition, I just don't know what kind of combination of conditioning and fullness he is going to bring, but I can I can be pretty sure, based on everything I heard so far, that he's bringing the fullness, because he was punished for bringing the crazy conditioning without super crazy fullness to the Arnold, and he lost to Samson. He did beat Samson at the Mr. Olympia like five months prior to that, but Samson did improve also, very much so for the Arnold, so I don't know if Nick would look better if he was fuller, or if he would beat Samson, I don't think so. But this year's Mr. Olympia, Nick is going to be better because it looks like he gained some muscle between the Arnold and the Mr. Olympia. But the question is, is it going to be enough to be better than Samson? And I think we can make a conclusion based on these, on these photos, especially this one, side chest, in which you can see like the, 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 the muscularity, the conditioning, uh, the, the fullness, the hardness, and it's all looking super impressive. And yeah, I'm pretty sure Nick is bringing his absolute best package so far, his absolute A game, but so is Samson, so is Derek, so is probably Hadi. So again, I have no idea who's gonna place where that top four is going to be insane.
All right, now as far as the Masters, Mr. Olympia, that is in Romania, that is happening this weekend, as you can see, Alex Cambronero won the Masters Classic Physique, Mr. Olympia. I had no idea that this guy was uh, at that age, that he can actually do Masters. Uh, the cutoff is 40 years, so he probably just turned 40 or something. I mean, this guy won the Arnold Classic like two years ago. So, as you can see, he's looking very, very fresh. He doesn't look like he's, uh, he's a Masters competitor. He looks very young, he looks amazing. He can probably still be in that top six at the Mr. Olympia, uh, regular Mr. Olympia, not Masters Olympia. So, I don't know what the hell did he do here. I get it, I mean, he has the age, so does Brian, so do many bodybuilders across all of the divisions, but they're not doing Masters Olympia because they are still fresh enough, still young enough, they still look good enough to compete in regular shows, but I guess uh, Alex wanted that title. It's a, it's a very good, it's a very nice looking trophy. I guess he earned some money as well, and you know, it's a nice title. It's still a Mr. Olympia title, Masters though, but still a Mr. Olympia title. So, I mean, congrats, but like, I was really surprised to see this guy here. I was sure that he was like 30 something. I was surprised to see him on the list to realize that he's actually over 40. He doesn't look like it, he looks much, much younger. And his body doesn't look uh, that it's a master's physique, but I guess this is a good thing for the Masters Olympia because it's very competitive. As you can see, the other guys in that top four, I mean, they weren't on, on Alex's level. <laughs> Once again, Alex is probably like top six in the world in classic physique. And so he, he came here and he easily won uh, this, this title, this trophy, he probably got some money, and yeah, good for him, but uh, yeah, it wasn't definitely very tough for him to win this show. 212 Masters Olympia was won by Hidetada Yamagishi, this was a much, much different story. Uh, he won this show, I mean, he didn't look nowhere near as good as he looked back when he was competing against the younger guys. He came back, basically, he hasn't been competing for a long, long time. He came back, he got conditioned, uh, this physique didn't look very good, like, especially compared to what it looked like back in the day, but I guess it was enough for him to win this title. And you can see Lee Priest in his comment, he says, damn, I could have won. And all I can say is that it's a shame that he didn't try. Now, here in your top four, your first call out. Uh, you can see the winner, Hiretada, the guy next to him, I thought that he was gonna win. There is also David Henry on the left. I don't know who is the guy uh, next to Hide in the middle, if you guys know, let me know down below in the comment section. But basically, when I was watching this, I thought Hide is probably gonna be second. I mean, I realized that he was in the, in the center, so he was either gonna be first or, or second. I see that his conditioning was spot on. But, man, I don't know, he was, he was too melted. Uh, in the front shots, he looked decent. You're gonna see the back shots in a second, but in the front shots and also the side shots, he looked okay. You can see the, 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 the signs of aging, like a lot of them. And you can see that he was shredded, sure. And he was a little bit bigger, like uh, frame-wise, you know, stature-wise. He was a bigger man than the guy next to him. But that guy was just more fresh and he had a back and he had a really good back as well and he had more conditioned glutes and hamstrings and he just flew much better especially from the back i mean compare this <laughs> it's not even worthy of comparison really i mean hiretara's back is gone it's completely atrophied the other guy's back it's an amazing back not just for masters olympia it's overall an amazing back crazy back the same story is in the back lat spread. So the back itself, the thickness of the freaking lats, and also the lower body, like the way it flows also, everything, you know, the wee taper, the axe taper, I was pretty convinced that the guy is winning this. Especially because of this, the back double, a very, very important pose. And he looked horrible in this one. His back, once again, it's completely gone, it's totally melted. You can't see it anywhere. But yeah, somehow he manages to win this show, I hope. It was different in person, I hope this is not like politics, and they let him win because of his name, I hope that's not the case, because I honestly feel like the other guy deserved it more, you know, from the front, as you can see, it was definitely much, much closer, but still, I mean, the V-taper, like the, the small waist, the way everything flew, the, the, the conditioning, it was very close from the front and from the sides, but from behind, he lost totally, he didn't look 
nearly as good as the other guy. So yeah, I thought, I think this is a robbery. I mean, I, I wasn't there. This is only based on these photos. I think the photos are showing us what actually happened because these are good photos. But then again, I don't know. Once again, I wasn't there. So guys, if you were there or if you have your own opinion, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. For more bodybuilding content like this, subscribe to this channel. And if you guys want to show me some love, if you want to support me, there is the link down below. It will lead you to the Old School Labs website. Just click on it. Choose your supplements, whichever you need, whichever you like. Try them out. Use the code DIVAN. You will get a 15% discount. And that's it. That's how you can support this channel. Thank you guys so much. All the best and bye-bye.